After living in Singapore for nearly 20 years, Mr. Nidius Stridham, 55, and his wife, Madam Stacy Tucker, 51, who moved here from South Africa, took the step to apply for Singapore citizenship two years ago. Singapore will always be our home because we got married here, said Mr. Stridham, who works in the fintech industry. Holding her husband's hand, Madam Tucker chimed in, Yes, Singapore was where we came together as a married couple. The pair had just started dating in South Africa when Mr. Stridham was posted to Singapore for work in 2004. Madam Tucker, who now works as a management executive at a law firm, moved to join him in 2006. They became permanent residents in 2008. The couple, who have three grown-up daughters living elsewhere, were among the 479 new Singapore citizens who received their certificates of citizenship at the annual National Citizenship Ceremony held by the People's Association on Sunday. Speaking at the event held at ITE College West in Choa Chu Kong, Trade and Industry Minister Gon Kim Yong said Singapore has always been open to the world to flows of goods and services, people and ideas. Our multiculturalism and multiracialism are what define us as a society and make us uniquely Singapore, added Mr Gon, who is an MP for Chua Chu Kong GRC. Today, we are here to welcome you to the Singapore family. Like our forefathers decades ago, you bring with you new ideas, networks and skills. You bring with you the determination and desire to build a better future for your family. This year's event opened with a performance by Keat Hong Chinese Orchestra, a cultural group under the administration of Chua Chu Kong Community Club. The orchestra played a selection of familiar tunes, including National Day songs. The event closed with the attendees reciting the pledge and singing the national anthem. The first national citizenship ceremony was held in 2007 to commemorate the significance of citizenship and served as an occasion to formally welcome new citizens into the Singapore family. All new citizens are required to receive their citizenship certificates either at the annual ceremony, which GRCs take turns to organize with support from the National Integration Council or at citizenship ceremonies held at the group representation constituency level that are organized throughout the year. The Ministry of Culture, Community and Youth said that about 23,100 individuals received their Singapore citizenship in 2022. Its spokesman said that while there are slight year-on-year -year variations, the government has kept the pace of immigration measured and stable. The application to become a Singapore citizen is open to those who have been Singapore permanent residents for at least two years and are aged 21 and above. The Immigration and Checkpoints Authority said that factors, including the individual's family ties to Singaporeans, economic contributions, qualifications and length of residency are taken into account to assess the applicant's ability to contribute to the country integrate into society and their commitment to sinking roots here. Madam Tucker said, This is the place that I love. I think we are the happiest here than we have ever been anywhere.